try to tell me that it won't be long till I won't even miss you anymore. But I can tell it must be something mighty wrong. Cause every day I want you even more. <laughs> Cardigas Falcher of Capagni of Hearney Clear Noise, the Clay Canny Shinsha Crave Winacon, the Jar Kai Macarosha Gaspalia in Lorgan. Hello, everybody, and welcome to St Mary's to St Tiernach's Park Clonus for the 1999 Monon Senior Football Championship final between Castle Blaney and Carrick Macross. A very unusual pairing here as we watch the two teams behind the Animal and Pipe Band in this county final. Of course, Carrick Macross. In their first final 50 years, the last appearance in 1949, and while Car Castle Blaney will be endeavouring to win their 34th title today. And both teams getting a great reception from the supporters here in the stand. The stand, main stand here is virtually full. And uh, quite a contrast between the fortunes of the two teams, of course, here. Carrick McCross have, have had many lean times this last few decades. And uh, this would be a great achievement for Mother to win the title here today. But Castle Blaine, your old hands at it, of course. And um, Castle Blaine, in fact, have appeared, a record of appearances in county finals, in, in, not alone in Monaghan, but in Ireland, is phenomenal, having appeared in 52 two county finals, winning 33 and only losing 19. So they're certainly the championship specialists. Carrick Macross, as I said, to the last appearance in the senior finals in 1949 when they were defeated by Clontibbert by 11 points to 2 goals and 3 points. 
They also appeared in the final in 1934 against Dunhamine and they reached one decider of course in 1928 as well when they went under to Kirkcahan by the score of 1-3 to 3 points. So they'll be endeavouring to put that that famine I suppose of, of, of achievement in championship football behind them here today but they'll have a hard job on their hands to defeat a very a very efficient Castle Blaney team with apparently no weak links as their demolition of Scotstown in the semi-final showed. Of course they'll have to line out today without Dermot Duffy who's just suspended and Carrick McCross on the other hand one change on their team Robert Honey the goalkeeper is injured and he's been replaced by John Fitzgerald. <coughs> the Emmets of course have seven titles to their credit the last one being in 1919 and of course the Emmets the Carrick Emmets also played in the first senior championship final in Monaghan when they were defeated by Inneskeen and they won their first of their seven championships in 1908. And Castlevania of course 34 titles to their credit and their first championship win was achieved in 1907. And of course have many famous Blaney players and players and teams down the year and one of them of course has gone to his eternal award a few weeks ago, the great Dickie Sullivan. And I'm sure the players, Castle Blaney players will have that in their minds today and they'll be endeavouring to win this for Dickie as much as for anybody else, or as much as for themselves as well. Pitch in brilliant condition. No wind, no rain. So there should be no excuses for the two teams not giving us a fine game of football here today. And the retro for today's game, of course, is first his biggest assignment so far in his refereeing career, of course, is Jerry McCarn from Emmyvale. And he takes charge of his first Monaghan senior final. Jerry, of course, was the man in the middle in the 1997 junior final between Cromartin and Orham. And he also refereed last year's junior league final between Orham, uh, between Kilevan and Latin. Jerry, of course, played football as well with Scotstown and then with Aero Oak. And he's now living in the parish of Dona, so he's a member of the Emmy Vale Club. And his lanesmen for today assisting him are Nicky Calvert of Rock Quarry. Nicky has been appointed, of course, to referee the junior final. Nicky is a standby referee, and Brendan Walsh of Bally Bay. So the Bally, I see the Bally uh, Castlevania team in the now traditional huddle, getting first last words of advice from the captain. <laughs> Aidan Tavi, Aidan who was injured in the semi-final, but back again here today, playing right half back. And I suppose the first 15 minutes, now we're going to Shasagi. The coach ahead of the team that produced the many of this team have passed away today. The passed away two weeks ago. And also, Francie Hakatavi of Halliday, a former secretary of Monaghan Monday Board, who died away today. A minute's silence now for two of the great gales of Monaghan football, Dickie Sullivan and Francie Mcatavi, who passed away lately. Thank you for the 
for the start of the match. The Animal and East Pipe Band coming off the pitch. I entertained the crowd regularly here today. And uh, having a look at the, the line outs here, they see, uh, see Peter Cassidy playing in the middle of the field for Carrick McCross along with Declan Smith. And now uh, everything in readiness. Dermot McCardle playing centre half. Mark Nahan Ratty left half. Where are we going when the game is on? Declan Lockman. Long ball up towards Peter Duffy. Well, Kyle McCross will certainly need a good start here because I'm sure they've got to stay with Blaney for the first few minutes. Very well cut out by John Conlon. Pushing Gartlin. Declan Smith leaves it long. Up the race for Oh, and a Smith there. Eddie Murphy collects it. Eddie, fist pass, but not a very good one. And a free to Dennis Connolly, who was fouled. Dennis Connolly back marking. Paul O'Connor, I see, playing left half back here. Declan Smith long. A free out. Jerry McCarn very near the action there. And uh, Declan Flanagan <coughs> <coughs> taking the kick, taking the free. I want the raise. Here's Dermot McCardle. Dermot up towards Peter Duffy. Peter gets away though from James Kernan. Peter's on his own. He's on the 20 meter line on the far side. He has support inside. Just flicked inside with John Conlon. Has it. John Black playing in the full back line to add a bit of pace to the Carrick team. Shawnee Murray touches on the ground. Well, a bit unlucky there because Peter Castu is behind him and could have collected that ball, but how and ever. Dan Hughes and Dennis McKinnon has gone here to Porrick McDonald. The first chance of the game. Hi, and has gone wide. First wide of the game registered by Porrick McDonald. And uh, John Fitzgerald with the first kick out. A good kick, giving good confidence. Up there, rise for Declan Smith. The ball breaks away though. And uh, Ray McCardle is fouled. Declan Lockman takes it a high one in towards the full forward line of John Conlon. Gets up. Peter Lowe, he's a chance. He's going to score. He has. Well, that's the start Casablini wanted, and Kike McCross didn't want to concede an early goal. The ball bouncing into Hain and the sheer pace of Peter Duffy. And he slotted it away beautifully, kept it low along the grass in underneath the goalkeeper into the corner of the net. Well, this will be a test of Kike McCross's character at this stage. Ryan Tracy gets it down, Dan Hughes. Martin Hanratty across to Declan Lachman. They're starting to move the ball now at pace Castlebaney. Ryan Tracy. Dancing towards the 45 metre line. Now towards Aidan Tavi. Aidan with John Conlon after him. Aidan does John Conlon as well. 
Wind is free. Out to Declan Smith. Declan coming very, very deep. Drives a long raking ball with Emmett Brennan. So out in front of Andy. <coughs> Andy Callan. Andy has pulled. And the referee has spotted it. Aidan Tarr, you're going to take it. Captain of the Castle Laney team left for it. Up the middle. Oh, and it's flicked on again. A chance for Ray McCarl and a point for Ray. Knocked down by Parik McDonald. So 1-1 one, one to no score. We've just less than four minutes gone in the first half. <coughs> and Blaney opening in whirlwind fashion as they did against Goston in the semi-final. In fact, they opened in whirlwind fashion against Goston in both halves and had the game virtually sewn up after 15 minutes. Here's Dan Hughes. Dermot Declan Lockman. Declan always seems to make so much space for himself. Little Dermot McCarl, and he's the centre half. He's on way up the field. He's on going inside the 13 metre line. Plays the cross to Peter Duffy. Peter's going in looking for another goal. Oh, and they just get it out, James Kiernan. And Carrick have got to get into this game at this stage. Dan Hughes being in a new rig out. Declan Lockman again. Going to shoot for a point. A high one. Goalkeeper unsighted, but gets it out though. James Kernan gets his free out and uh, a quick one taken up here to Jim Connolly Jim, Jim the captain the veteran well one of the veterans of the team let's put it that way Martin Hanrade knocks it down Lane I should say Gareth Dunney knocks it down ah careless ball out over towards the side lane well Carrick I'm sure need to score soon to settle him down Blaney are really up for this one already Emmett Brennan to Martin Hanratty. Martin fouled by Stephen Conlon. Declan Lockman. Declan away up to Peter Duffy. Peter, this time, lets it in. John Conlon does well. Carrying it. Out past the 45. Good run by John out towards the centre of the field. Trying to play it up towards the full forward lane, but Enna Brennan's there. Doesn't control it. But it does enough to get it out, and here's Dermot McCardle. Dermot being fouled. Corrick Swinburne. Dennis Conley seems to be on his own here at the moment around the centre of the pitch. Again, here's ball heading towards the side lane, and Ray McCardle couldn't get that one. <coughs> Six minutes gone, Declan Smith. Declan playing in the middle of the field up to John O'Connor. Good ball. John trying to cut inside Edwin Morphy, but loses it. Edwin Morphy has it. Edwin been fouled. <coughs> they have already won five championships in the 90s. This is going for the sixth one to complete the millennium. Monon's most successful team in the 90s. A long, long ball again, but it's gone out to the left and gone wide. And uh, <coughs> John Fitzgerald, good kick again, and a foul there in the centre of the field, some pushing on Declan Smith. And uh, Declan was a great kick of a ball, but he's a bit far away from the danger, you having to play in the centre of the field, a high ball up to John O'Connor. John knocks it down though. But the Blaney cornerbacks in helping our full back Edwin Murphy in very close to him to cut out the space Ryan Tracy Ryan not a good pass but Aidan Tavi makes the most of it way over the 45 loses it gets help and uh, the ball's gone out over the end line again for Castle Blaney's third wide And, uh, <coughs> John Fitzgerald, a very busy man kicking out the ball so far, has had one dicey moment, I suppose, one, but he did manage to get the ball out. Declan Smith knocks it on with his fist, but Declan Lockman is there to clear up, but it's flicked on by Noel Swinburne, Stephen Conlon. 
Stephen into Declan Smith, he's fouled. So it's a chance for Carrick now to put some pressure on the Blaney backs. Declan taking the ball in a few metres. Body Swinburne to take it and takes it in another metre or two. So we've gained a few metres there. Taran over. No objections from any of the Castle Blaney players. And then here comes Paddy. There's a vital one. If we could kick this over the bar. Doesn't get a good trajectory on it. But point well, the referee spotting a foul on Stephen Conlon. By Gareth Duffy. So free for Kaik McCross. And the first score of the game for Kaik McCross. <coughs> well taken by Paddy Swinburne. Just having a look here along the stand, seems to be nearly full up to the corners on both sides and quite a smattering of people on the far side of the ground as well. And the referee is going over to have a word with his linesman about something or other. And uh, and they're having a little chat. <coughs> Somebody's going to be spoken to here. And uh, the officials operating as a unit here, as they also did in the minor match as well. And they're determined to nip out any off-the-ball shenanigans. And the referee having a, 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 a little word with both Dennis Connolly and Paul O'Connor, more or less telling them to cut out the nonsense. Any of the balls kicked out. Up the race for it's knocked, punched on, but Declan... Declan Lockman in his usual mopping up everything that breaks. John Conlon does very, very well. A great catch. Takes a quick free to Declan Smith. Declan a long ball but doesn't suit a forward. It's knocked away. And there's Declan Lockman again cleaning everything up. Declan playing centre half. At the moment, Dennis Conley cuts that out. Well, Carrick settling down at this stage. Oh, and a couple of players went together there and a couple of Carrick players. Declan Lockman. Again, seen more possession than anybody else at this day. Declan Smith. Declan going to play it up towards Andy Callan. Andy's a danger man. And he turn, turns, gets his kick in. And a great point by Andy Callan. Well, that's very, very good play. Well picked out by Declan Smith. Showed confidence to go for it. Of course, he's been Carrick's most prolific scorer all season in the championship and the league indeed. Always good for four or five or six points in every match. Dermot McCardle playing centre field now at this stage. Declan Lachman gone back centre half. Declan Flanagan gets it out. Knocked down, brilliantly knocked down by Ryan Tracy to Dermot McCardle. A dangerous ball, Peter Duffy gets or Apollo, Aidan Tavi gets it down, but and Kike McCross are doing well at this stage. Jim Conlon, up to Andy Callan, but back to Edwin Murphy. Edwin out to Emmett Brennan. Emmett up to Paul O'Connor. Paul across to this side to Peter Duffy. Peter having to run, but he has Martin Hanradi in support running up the left. Peters again well shepherded there by James Kearns Kiernan rather Paul Dermot Cardle a high ball par on a foul there on uh, a foul there on Aidan Tavi I think and uh, the referee in very very quickly to prevent anything anything happening and uh, few other players I see exchanging pleasantries here behind the referee's back but nothing more than that <coughs> and Park McDonald this first free of the game taking his time
and over the bar. So Castle Blaney winning by 1-2 to 2 points. 13 minutes gone in the first half. <coughs> so far it's been a very enjoyable match. Plenty of good open football. John Fitzgerald once again the kick out. A uh, good kick out. The ball, Martin Hanrat, he does enough. Ryan Tracy, Trey McCardle, up to Parik towards Parik McDonnell. <coughs> Parik getting, being tackled unfairly by Noel Swinburne. Parik takes it out towards Peter Duffy, and marked by James Kiernan. Hushing Gartland out as well. Back to John Conlon. John looking for somebody to give the ball to. Playing around with it. Gets it long out towards this side. But Barton Hanratty does well. Ray McCardle again getting a lot of possession. Out to Dermot McCardle. Going to go for the score. It's a high one but it's oh well played by John Fitzgerald. Here's Jim Conlon to John Conlon. Out near his own 45 metre line to Declan Smith. Declan is nearly guilty of over carrying the ball but you're still playing it, the referee was quite in order Gordon Finnegan Gordon a long ball up towards Andy Callan but not, not a great ball anyway Stephen Conlon has it, Stephen into John O'Connor but John loses the ball, he gets it again he's going to shoot, oh and he's missed a great chance oh what an opportunity for John O'Connor well that would certainly have excited the crowd if that one had gone in he scuffed it completely, lost his composure, but however, maybe it has exposed a few flaws in the Blaney defence. John seemed to gain possession initially, then lost it and then regained it again, dribbled it along the ground and attempted to put it in soccer style inside the right hand post, but sent it about a metre wide. Anyway, up the race for it. <coughs> Dan Hughes gets his foot to it, going towards the far side, Ray McCardle tries to pick it up, but Gordon Finnegan, first time along the ground, Andy Callan, here comes Stephen Conlon, back to Andy Callan, trying to get on the left foot, going for the score, a dangerous ball, out. oh the goalkeeper punches out from under the bar, here's Jim Conlon, Jim, and he's put it wide, oh, I needed that score Carrick. Sixteen minutes gone in the first half. Declan Tranning with a kick out. Ball is knocked down by Declan Smith. A free though to Carrick McCross, just outside the 45 meter line. And Carrick McCross gaining in confidence all the time. And certainly making Blaney fight for it so far. They didn't come here to make up the numbers. They're determined to win their first championship since 1919. Declan with a long ball, a dangerous ball in. The goalkeeper drops it again. But Eddie Murphy's there to clear up matters. Well. Declan Flanagan's handling. Wouldn't be inspiring his defence. Any anyway, long ball. This is the danger man. Peter Duffy. His pace alone. Oh, he seemed to, seemed to be fouled. And he was fouled. And, and uh, Peter said a little bit too much. But the result that he's lost the free. And the uh, referee throws up the ball. Anyway. Aidan Tavi is fouled now. So it's a free in to Castle Blaney. And a Castle Blaney player down in the injury at this stage, and it looks like Peter Duffy. And uh, two of the two of the Carrick McCross subs have been told to warm up: John G. Conlon and Liam Gartland. Both carrying injuries, so both weren't 
named on the first 15 today. And uh, this will cause some concern to the Castle Blaney manager, Peter McMahon. Peter Duffy getting up now and uh, the referee getting a drink as well. Very, very warm out there. And Peter seems to be all right. And it's a free into Castle Blaney to be taken by Porrick McDonald. And uh, here's Porrick. Takes his time. A great free taker. Generally heads the scoring charts every year for Castle Blaney. Suits him on the right side of the pitch as well for a right footed kicker. Takes it. And straight over the bar. So. <laughs> nearly 19 minutes gone in the first half. One goal and three points to Blaney, two points to Carrick. And a uh, good kick again by the goalkeeper, John Fitzgerald up the race for it. Knocked down, but Paul O'Connor comes back and gets possession. Lays it off here, but uh, well, Carrick back, waited for the ball, ran, going for it. Here's John O'Connor, flicks it on beautifully towards Stephen Conlon. Stephen Conlon lays it into Andy Callan. Andy bounces on his leg though. And Emmett Brennan tidies up. But the ball is going out over the sideline. Yeah. Emmett, player of the year last year in Monaghan. One of the unsung heroes of the Castlevania team. Well, the sideline kick for Carrick. And Beckton uh, Smith. Oh, and it's gone loose. A chance here for Andy Callan. The ball's taken off his foot. Oh, goal! It's a save by Edwin Murphy. Well. <coughs> a Blaney back certainly having to work hard today. Carrick nearly scoring a goal, but very good play there. And a sub here has been brought on. And uh, John G. Conlon with the slip of paper. <coughs> and Shawnee Murray's coming off. Shawnee, the veteran of the side, giving great years of service to Kyrie McCross. He's really tried his best out there, but Declan Lockman's in top form. And John G. G. Conlon has an ankle problem for the last few months. Declan Smith. And it's gone to the right and wide. Carrick second wide of the game. Only 21 minutes gone in the first half. Damon Dunn urging on his charges here in front of us. Declan <coughs> Flanagan with a kick out. Knocked down again by Ryan Tracy to Dermot McArdle. Dermot looking for somebody to give it to. Plays it up to Ryan McArdle to Martin Hanratty. Martin takes his eye off it momentarily. Gets away though. And then scuffs his pass but gets it back anyway. Ray McArdle. Ray loses it off. And uh, Gordon Finnegan. Kicked the ball out over the sideline. Another injury here, though, to a Castlevania player. <coughs> and this time it's Dermot McCardle who's injured. And, uh,
Declan Lachman giving Peter Cassidy a drink. I suppose the players enjoying a well-deserved rest at this stage. It's very, very warm out there. And uh, <coughs> Dermot McCardle, Dermot's up. Still limping a little bit, but sure to be determined to walk off the injury. And away they go. Declan Lachman short to Ryan Tracy and get the 1-2. Dermot, Declan drives it up and snapped away, but Stephen Conlon gets it. Way back to De Declan Smith. Going to carry it, I'm sure, at this stage. He hasn't got an opportunity to run yet. It's surrounded by a couple of players. Gets it back, though, to James Kiernan. James, a high ball on feeding Andy Callan. Andy, though, being marked closely. As Declan Lockman mops up once again, but he loses it, but it's towed out. John G. Conlon, John, a high one. Oh, and it's a dangerous one. And again, Declan Lockman is there to has support from Edwin Murphy. Edwin wins the free out. Is fouled. Out to Dermot McCardle. Dermot immediately been surrounded by Carrick players. Carrick tackling in packs. And uh, certainly the Carrick, Carrick are tackling that they're putting the Blaney backs under pressure. They're not able to give their normal ball out of defence. Dennis Connolly. A high one up again, but Declan Lachman gets it down. Martin. Hanratty, Martin is fouled. <coughs> Aidan Tavi. Out towards Dermot McCardle, but this time Party Swinburne, Noel Swinburne rather has it. Support from John Conlon. John out towards Jim Conlon. Jim in towards John O'Connor. This is the play to play it in towards O'Connor, out towards. Stephen Conlon shoots and a very good point. Oh, great score. Route one into the full forward, the layoff. And a very well taken point. His first score of the game by Stephen Conlon. So, certainly for the last five, six minutes, <coughs> Kai McCross and Jane, most of the possession. And they're only a goal in arrear so far. It's a low scoring game. Over 25 minutes gone in the first half. An inter a very interesting county final this is developing into. Carrick doing well around the centre of the pitch as well. And, uh, uh, and the ball breaks loose to Darren McCardle. This is where Blaney are very good when they get a run. Darren Graham McCardle. Ray of the ball bounces away on it though. He wins it back again somewhere or other. But again it's cleared up by Oshin Gartlin to John O'Connell. John Conlon to oh John G. Conlon, but his pass is intercepted. Paul O'Connor. Paul. Nice little ball into Aiden Tavi. Aiden into Dan Hughes. Dan being surrounded by three or four players. Out to Ryan Tracy. Ryan fumbles it though. And uh, the referee insisting that the players play the game towards Andy Callan and the ball's hopped over and John O'Connor has he the pace has he the speed Emmett Brennan's covering John O'Connor shoots oh he wastes possession well well he's certainly a little bit of ambitious to shoot for a goal from about from that distance out at the angle been well advised to go for his point but Kyke Cross are exposing flaws in the Blaney full back line both cornerbacks Having difficulty with the Carrick forward line, and certainly Carrick will may rue those missed opportunities. Paddy Swinburne playing corner forward, Stephen Conlon playing in the half forward line here. And again, the referee is having a word of the lanes, man. And again, he's coming over towards here, the other centre of the pitch. And Dermot McCardle coming through a maze of players, has support Ryan Tracy. Aidan Tavi <coughs> crosses halfway, a long delivery up towards Paul O'Connor. Paul so good at taking up these positions, drifting away from the defence. And uh, the ball has gone out to the left and gone wide. 
<laughs> Dennis Connolly still marking Paul O'Connor. And uh, Liam Gartland seems to be ready here to come on. Andy, uh, Andy Callan, or not Andy Callan. Anyway, the ball's gone out. John O'Connor flicks it on to Hardy Swinburne. Hardy's going to go on the right foot. Has he taken? Hey, he kicks it over the bar. Well, I thought he was going to get bottled up there, but he kept his composure on his second point of the match. One, three to four points. And the crowd in the stand here is certainly getting excited in this stage. And Carrick are really putting it up to Blaney in this county final. Blaney red hot favourites. People are wondering would it be a cakewalk for Blaney, but it certainly isn't. And Carrick are really determined. But will he be able to sustain this? And the referee insisting that the the ball be kicked out from the proper position, center spot of the goals. <laughs> Declan Lockman, Declan. Dead and Tavi up towards Peter Duffy. A great catch by Peter Duffy. Trying to get away, but he's fouled. And the referee this time has taken out his book. And he is. Picking James Kiernan, I think, just. And James with a very difficult task of marking Peter Duffy, one of the fastest forwards in Monaghan football, probably the fastest, one of the most skillful forwards in Monaghan football. Away he goes again. Peter shipped a late tackle there. Dermot McCardle, a high one, and a great point. <laughs> and. Uh, Peter Duffy is down at this stage. And uh, there's another Castle Blaney player down at this stage, down near the goals. And I was watching the referee having a word there with... Uh, well, the umpire's certainly... Uh, <coughs> the umpire's now coming together. And... Uh, well, nearly in the last minute of the half here, there will be a little bit of stoppage time. <laughs> Castlevania winning by one forward, four points. A marvellous point there by Darren McCardle. And the referee having a long chat with his umpires. Peter Duffy is slowly recovering. Just as he laid the ball off, he seemed to ship a tackle. And the referee's book is coming out here at this stage. John Conlon is going to be spoken to. And there's Castle Blaney player still down. And the referee checking his number. And he's going to the and he's going to be sent off. He's going for the red card and he's been sent off. So John Conlon has been sent off. The Carrick Macross team. <laughs> well, this is going to be a tremendous loss to Carrick. And uh, certainly they are doing so well, but with 14 players now, <laughs> their chances of success have been greatly reduced. And it's just Aidan Tavi who's up at this stage. And uh, Eamon Dunn shakes his head and wonders what happened. And uh, Aidan Tavi at this stage, <coughs> he seems to be leaving the field to play. And uh, John Fitzgerald kicks it out. Very near half time now, anyway. Carrick with a mountain to climb at this stage. And uh, Paul O'Connor gets it. Aidan Tave. Ed, uh, Tave. A free out to Carrick. Dennis Connolly. <coughs> 
And it's half time. A two and a half minutes of injury time played in the first half as the two teams come off the field. And uh, the score here at half time is Blaney, Castle Blaney one goal and four points, Carrick McCross four points. A very interesting first half. But uh, Carrick McCross are going to have to play the second half with 14 players, and uh, John Conlon will be a very big loss to him. John was sent off for an off the ball incident. An incident that happened while the referee was having a word with uh, Declan Smith. So, players going now for their rest at half time to receive the advice <coughs> from the team managers. Half time score once again Castle Blaney 1 4, Carrick McCross 4 points. Dave O'Carge, you can your over Aston Darla. Just it started here. Uh, free to Castle Blaney is played up towards the full forward lane. Oh, and it's just cut out there by James Kiernan. Out to Noel Swinburne. Carrick, of course, now the handicap of playing with 14 players. They can't afford to make mistakes like that, though, giving the ball away in danger areas. And Peter Duffy. Peter, high over the bar. <laughs> Peter's first point of the game, but he's already scored the, the goal. After a few minutes. John Fitzgerald. Good kick. Oh, and a great catch by Ryan Tracy. Plays it back to Declan Lockman. Declan showing his strength and power there to Darren McCardle. And Blaney going to start at the running game now at this stage. Gareth Duffy being fouled. And Blaney again starting very well in the second half. Plays it a long one in towards Aidan Tavi. The ball's gone loose. Oh, and Park McDonald's is away. Ray McCardle, but a great def on a foul, and uh, Gordon Finnegan was fouled there as he came out. Aidan Tavi's got a yellow card for that foul. And one more of those, and Aidan will be joining John Conlon in the side lane, but I'm sure he'll be very careful. And uh, free out to Carrick across. John Fitzgerald. <coughs> Carrick yet to get the ball, and here's Jim Conlon loses on the referee on the spot. Declan Smith to Dennis Connolly. Dennis, a high ball in towards the full forward. John O'Connor, what way will this drop? A chance here. Liam Garling get out of the goalkeeper, does well. Andy Callan. And he has to turn though. Left foot. High. And a great point. Well, there's a great save there by Declan Flanagan from Liam Gartland. <coughs> Liam now on it. Playing around the centre of the field here, is he? He's trying to figure out which way. And Aidan Tavi playing his extra man across the half back down. Liam Gartland seems to be playing centre half forward. <laughs> and uh, John G. Conlon with Declan Smith. Declan Carrick will be looking to him for leadership at this stage. Goes right round Gareth Duffy, some way or other. Has support here from John G. Conlon. Left foot is from John G. in towards John O'Connor, but it's going out towards the left. Edwin Murphy has it. Gets away from John Conlon's tackle to Martin Hanratty, Ryan Tracy, to Dan Hughes, to Dermot McCarty. This is a good move at this stage to Paul O'Connor on the 20 metre line. Will he finish it? That's a great score from Paul O'Connor, a great move by Castle Blaney. <laughs> a 
right from the own started off by Edwin Murphy in the full back line <laughs> a move of great pace and precision Paul's first point of the match Blaney increased their lead now 165 points Declan Lach, uh, Dermot Vicarli gets his fist at Oshin Loftus up towards a foul there on Andy Callan. A referee having a very, very good game. Missing very, very little. And, uh, <coughs> Declan Smith setting himself to take it. Is he, will he lob it in or go for the score? Seems to go for the score. And it's gone to the, just gone to the left and wide. <laughs> Any five minutes gone in the second half. And uh, anyway, Ryan Tracy misses it. Declan Smith gets back in the middle of the pitch. Been encouraged to let it in on the right foot towards Andy Callan. Emmett Brennan gets a little trip, but wasn't spotted by the ref. Andy Callan coming away out, turns, still travelling, does very well. Back to John G. Conlon. John, a good point kick, a oh, dangerous kick. The goalie, that's a, that's a penalty though, it's a penalty, it's a penalty, one of the defenders, just, one of the fouls just pulled, the referee in no doubt whatsoever, a penalty to Kai McCross. The referee clearly indicating as to what it was for, the foul had been shunted out of the way as the ball was going in. Well... Castle Blaney full back line has been in trouble in the first half and they're pa starting to panic already in the second half. And there's a great chance for Kerry to get back into the game. And nobody querying the referee's decision, none of the players. Declan Smith, will he go for power or will he try and place it? And players here, here he comes, shoots and it's a goal! Well, placed it to the goalie's right hand side. <coughs> and now there's only one point in it, one six to one five. Six and a half minutes gone in the second half. And that's just the score that this game needed to keep the interest alive and to keep the crowd on their toes. Up the rise again, but a great catch William Gartland. Drives it in. It's heading towards the end line though. Free out. Emmett Brennan is fouled. And uh, <coughs> Carrick are going to drive the ball in as fast and as high as they can in towards the full forward line. They seem to think that a bit of pushing there, but Dan Hughes has it. Dan being fouled. Gets up. Plays it across to Ray McArdle. Ray not being marked closely enough into Aidan Tavi. Aidan being fouled by Gordon Finnegan. And certainly a foolish foul to give away. And Aidan Tavi coming right up the field from his half back position to take it. <coughs> Suit a left footed kicker. Here's Aidan Tavi. Aidan left footed. And straight over the bar. Very well taken. Aidan's first score of the game from the half back position. <coughs> so Blaney increased their advantage to two points. 
It's a glorious sunny day here in Clonus. And the crowd being treated to a very good game of football here in the county final and a very even game so far. And Dan Hughes is fouled as he goes down to get the ball. Dan picks out Paul O'Connor. Paul, tremendous player of drifting away from the defence. Sure, Gareth Duffy, wide. Gareth coming up from the, his defensive position. <coughs> Gareth, number four in his back, left corner back, but following Foddy Swinburne. Paddy playing out around the centre of the pitch too at this stage. Carrick just leaving two players back inside. Aidan Harvey playing behind as a sort of a sweeper. Anyway, up the race. Oh, and a great catch by Dan Hughes. Still carrying it. It's going to go for his score. A high one. And to the left and wide. By my count, Blaney's six wide of the game. Carrick with four wides. Nearly 10 minutes gone. And he raises again. Declan Smith has it this time. Oh, he loses it though. Peter Duffy. Paul O'Connor. Paul O'Connor is down with Carroll. It's a great 3 to 1 here. They must score a goal here. A chance, and it's a goal. Aidan Tarvey. Oh, 3 to 1 there. Aidan Tarvey kept his cool. Kept it low underneath the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper had really no chance. One, a very incisive move there by the Blaney attack. Just cut the carry defence to ribbons. A great catch there by Liam Gartland, I think it is. Wins his free. Declan Smith, a high one again in towards Andy Callan. Here's John O'Connor. Needs a goal. Oh, what a weak effort. Well, John O'Connor tried to chip it with the outside of the foot. That's the third chance he's missed today. John may have been well advised to carry it in a little bit. And uh, Eamon Dunn having words with them as well. Well, Carrick certainly have had their chances. Wow. And 2-7 uh, to 1-5. And John's... Winning, earning the chances but not converting them. Pushing again, free to Carrick. Declan Smith again. Another high one in towards the goals they expect. Fearing out towards the left this time. Andy Callan controls it. Come has to come out, making an angle for himself. Still keeping control, plays it out to Paddy Swinburne. But Ryan Tracy, Ryan being fouled though by John G. Conlon, very quickly taken though by Declan Lockman. Dermot McCardle, a long one. Well fielded by Dennis Conley though. James Kiernan. Ah, oh, James, a wayward kick has gone out towards the left and that's a 45. John O'Connor really followed the lost cause there and won a 45, did well. 12 minutes gone, the second half. And this game is still interesting, despite the fact that Carrick are down to 14 men and Blaney are winning by 5 points. <coughs> in the splendid setting of St. Chernock's Park here in Clonus. And it's Declan Smith once again. Low trajectory, John O'Connor has it. Now tries to punch it in, ball's loose, Emmett Brennan tidies up, been fouled. Takes a quick one to Edwin Murphy. Edwin has support, Peter Duffy. Peter's going to be three tag players converging on him at this stage. Loses it. Peter not too happy with that decision, but however. Quick one taken by Jim Conlon. John G. Conlon. Very well taken by Stephen Conlon and towards Andy Callan. Andy giving Emmett Brennan a hard time, but Emmett sticking to his task. Andy a high one and a great point by Andy Callan. Andy's third point of the game. Well, 
Emmett shepherded him out, but he still managed to get his kick in when he's so accurate. Blaney still leading by four points. And only 14 minutes gone. We're soon entering the last quarter of the game. And Carrick are still there, and they must be wondering at the end of the game will the sending off of John O'Connell be the decisive factor? And now the rest of them have lifted their game, though. <coughs> Dermot McCardle towards Ray McCardle. And line bounces off for Ray. Declan Smith goes back to take it. Short one to Oshin Loftus. Back to Declan Smith. Cuts inside. Long, but oh, great block there by Dermot McCardle. Drives forward and is fouled. And the referee is going to plainly take the free kicks that quickly. The referee sometimes doesn't get time to, to note the players. <coughs> Dan Hughes across to Peter Duffy again two or three players coming to mark him Terea McArdle back to Peter Duffy Peter loses it though ball goes down Paul O'Connor goes down and, uh, and here comes John G. Conlon has it not a good pass though and Jim Conlon does well back to John G. Conlon has to kick it though and Emmett Brennan's there to tidy up. Plays a short one to uh, Ryan Tracy. Here comes uh, Parik McDonnell. Parik, what's he? And uh, frontally charged by uh, Declan Smith. And an injury here to a Carrick player as well. The game being played at a hectic pace. Two very, very fit teams. <coughs> We're now in the final quarter of the game. About 14 minutes left. And uh, another chance for Porrick McDonald to add to his total. He's scored two points already. Jim Con Jim Connolly has received attention and he's back in his position. A short one. Paul O'Connor back to Park McDonald. Oh a great block there by Noel Swinburne, but it's gone out for 45. <coughs> And uh, constant supply of drinks being supplied to the players in both teams here. And uh, Parik McDonald once again, Cup Parik of course now employed by the Dublin County Board. He's a full time coaching officer. Well capable of kicking this over the bar. Which he duly does. Great point by Parik McDonald. <laughs> they increase their lead once again to five points. Eamon Dunn puts his hands in his head and wonders what more he can do at this stage. And certainly his team is out there giving him everything. I suppose Blaney's experience at this stage is just showing through a little. Anyway, up the rise. Oh, great catch once again by Liam Garkland. Out to Jim Connolly. Jim. Pushing now on the full back. The free out. Braden <laughs> Tavi, captain. A high one. Oh, it's going to lose. Oh, another. Declan Smith, this stage is going to be. Have his name on the book for that. And trips Peter Duffy. <coughs> and 
I'm not sure if he's got a yellow card or not. I think he's just got ticked for that. Declan Lachman, look, waiting for the run. Somebody to make the runs. He's going to drive it in towards Aidan Tavi. So one on one here. Tavi gets it. Uli Torn loses it. Shoots. Oh, very, very well blocked by the number five, Gordon Finnegan. But Noel Swinburne has lost possession. A free in though. Kieran Tavi is fouled. Aidan Tavi runs up immediately to take the free. Ryan Tracy goes back to cover. Well, just a little over 10 minutes left in the game. Aidan <laughs> Tavi will suit a left footed kicker. And wide. Well, not too often he had misses from those positions. It's John Fitzgerald. Good kick again. Declan Lachman misses it. Peter Duffy has it. Back to Dan Hughes. Out towards Aidan Tavi. Aidan, one of the stars of the man on the 21, gets away from Gordon Finnegan. Has support inside. What will he do? Plays it back out to Paul O'Connor. Paul, a high one, and it's over the bar. <laughs> Aidan Tavi's down once again. And he's getting up. <coughs> and some of the players visibly exhausted at this stage from the effort they've put in. See Blaney warming up uh, Mark O'Connor. Ball's gone loose once again. And uh, well played out by Paddy Swinburne. Up towards Jim Connolly. Jim, two Blaney players converging him. Up towards Andy Callan. Andy has support from Jim Connolly. Back to Andy Callan. Andy, one of the Carrick's chief score getter, been very closely marked. Doing, means trying to make room for himself. Back to Paddy Swinburne. Paddy trying to cut inside, carries the ball a long way. Ball's gone loose, gets it back some way or other. Ball comes out, Martin Hanratty. And the referee indicating there was an unfair hand pass. An illegal hand pass, I should say. Good covering there by the Blaney defence though. Realising, trying to prevent Andy Callan from getting a shot in on his left foot. <coughs> Hi, and it's gone. Oh, it's loose, it's a goal! It's a goal! A goal for Carrick. The ball went loose. Came back out. The defenders and goalkeeper are complaining that it was a square ball, but the umpires having none of it, and it's a goal. I'm not sure who scored it. But the crowd are excited again. Now there's only three points in it, 2-9 to 2-6, and Carrick are not beaten yet. And this will give them great renewed heart. Oh, damn it, McCard. Listen to this. Every time Carrick get a score, Blaney always seem to come back up the field and get another one. Cut back out though by Noel Swinburne to John G. Conlon. Been roared on by the Carrick supporters. Oh, brilliantly cut out by Edwin Murphy, who's fouled. And uh, Derek McCardle. Long one. Up to Rears Ray Mc McCardle. In towards Keon Tavi. How's he going to go for his score? He does. He turns. And it's gone to the right and gone wide. <laughs> A lot 
of people predicted that this game would be over at half time, but it certainly is. Carrick are making a great, a great effort, and there's a Carrick player down injured. Liam Gartland. Liam has done very well since he's come in. He's so got a knock around the back of the neck, but he's up and okay. Declan Smith. Long one away again up into the full forward lane, but it's and again, oh and the great John G. Conlon. He's having a tremendous game as well. Andy Callan. Hi, where is it gonna land this one? It's a square ball this time. Carrick's main tactic is to get the ball in high in towards the Blaney going out to put as much pressure as possible on the Blaney full back line. And uh, now nearly into the last five minutes of the game. And Carrick fighting for all our worth to try and get back into this game. And uh, John G. Conlon as well. Declan Smith. Will he have to turn on his left? He will. Turns again, sells a lovely dummy, still going, gets it on the left foot, a high one, where is it going, it's dropping in around about 13 metres out, but it's gone loose, and it's wide from Paddy Swinburne, and the referee so close to the play, he had a duck to get out of the way. Both supporters urging on their teams to greater efforts at this stage for one last effort up their eyes. Darren Ricardo picks up the pieces, plays a nice little ball up this side. A little bit of pushing here from both teams. But Park McDonald has been fouled. And uh, this game has been fiercely contested. And very few leaving for the exits just yet, even though we've only about four minutes left. Up he comes, floats it in, and it's a beauty. Corrick's fourth point of the match. You see Dominic Corrigan down along the sideline here as well. He's been brought in by Blaney this year to train the team. Dominic, of course, who played with Fermanagh. There's John Fitzgerald again with a kick out. Another good kick. The knockdown, but oh, that's a high tackle. I think Peter misjudged that. And uh, a sub coming on the Blaney team, Paul O'Connor. And uh, Kieran Tavi, I think, is coming off. And getting a great round of applause from the Castle Blaney supporters. Anyway, Declan Smith kicks it up the raise. It's gone loose here. The chance here, shot. Oh, and it's gone to the left and gone wide from Liam Gartland. Oh. Well, if that one had gone in, we certainly would have had some finale. Beckton Smith and towards Andy Callan. Andy Dummies cuts inside Mark Nanrati. Cuts inside, cuts inside the referee as well. Takes a shot. Oh, bit low. Goalkeeper comes out, plays it out. 
Paul Tracy into Dan Hughes. Dan takes the shoulder in style. Ray McCardle. Ray McCardle to Peter Duffy. Peter, a high one out over the sideline. The last minute of the game now. Ball having to be retrieved. I see Dominic Corrigan racing around the pitch. He'd probably earn his club a fine for all of this running around the far side. However, Ryan Tracy. Ryan. Peter Duffy. Peter back very gets rid of it. Good long raking kick. And there's a chance on for Castlebini to break at this stage. Paul O'Connor. Paul holds it. Looking for Mark O'Connor. Mark loses it and it's a free out. He lifts the ball off the ground. Dennis Connolly. Up to John G. Connolly. John G. has had a great game since he's come in. Gets it across. A great ball in towards the goals. John O'Connor hits Eddie Murphy on the head. Comes out to Declan Lockman. Declan, first time. Two against one here. And a free there. Ray McCardle being fouled. Dermot McCardle coming over to take the free. Up towards Paul O'Connor. In towards Parik McDonnell. Parik has support inside. Going to go for his score. A high one, and it's just gone to the left and gone wide. And uh, we're now in injury time. Referee looking at his watch. Very little time left. Mark O'Connor, a high one, and it's over the bar. And we'll see Castlevania, Stephen McGill coming on the Castlevania team. Ronan Finn coming on the Carrick team. Very little time left. We'll be lucky if they get a touch of the ball at this stage. Gareth Duffy coming off and Stephen Conlon also I think it is coming off. Here it is, the full time whistle. Casa Blaney have won their 34th county championship defeating a very gallant Carrick Macross team on a scoreline of 2-11. To two goals and six points, and players shaking hands with each other. And uh, players being congratulated by their mentors and the management and all the supporters. And the ball was kicked into the crowd there by Peter Duffy and generally usually the ball is presented to the captain of the winning team after the game but I don't know whether this ball will be retrieved or not however generally speaking a very very good county final a very entertaining county final <coughs> Carrick will be wondering what might have happened if they had 15 players on the pitch but they're certainly shown here today their team with great spirit and without doubt they'll be back in the not too distant future players of great talent and skill and they made Castle Blaney fight every inch of the way for the 34th title here but Blaney once again the kingpins of Monaghan football very deserving winners great champions and now they'll represent Monaghan in the Ulster Club Challenge where they'll play the champions of Derry at home though in the first round That'll be either Ballanderry or Balahi. And we all wish them well in that and we hope they bring further glory to Monaghan. And people now coming down onto the pitch. No question of the supporters not being allowed onto the pitch and Clonus here. 
very good crowd here in Clonus. I'm sure a crowd of nearly 5,000 people attended here today. And the Carrick players waiting, of course, sportingly, very sportingly waiting until the cup is presented to the Castle Blaney team. And the captain, Aidan Tavi. Blaney got off to a great start. I think everyone was wondering at that stage would Carrick collapse, but they certainly didn't. It was a fantastic goal from Peter Duffy in the first few minutes. And uh, Aidan Tavi now coming over to the presentation area. You can down. Are you going down? Yes. And with that, we leave you now.
Mace, Kibbutz, another food is going to Yale, and another has. Keep in mind, I'm asking you to have any pain. He's now ready for the transaction.